Well guys, we're here in the uh, mechanic shop. It's a mess. We're <laughs> full of panels and stuff. Um, process of changing it around. Still got my springs laying over there from the truck. Uh, I've only had that fixed for a week. Not even a week now. Uh, so this is the next thing that's going up. We're putting up, uh, having to replace some wells with uh, cellar wells. And we've got quite a few solar wells, and we've never bought panel racks for them. And I, I've learned quite a bit about building panel racks. Um, I've I built some when I was younger, and it was a good idea. It just it didn't work the way that I thought it was going to. Uh, kind of built, and I'll, I'll show you one sometime. Sorry, I'm taking my gloves off. Uh, so now this is this is kind of the next several iterations down the line, um, and it, these ones work pretty much the best. Since this is going in a deep well, it takes three panels, um, so we got to build a bigger rack. Uh, this is a post. We're not going to use this one on this one. Um, but this one is going to go on another well that only has two small panels. So we can just run a single post on it out of this lighter square tubing. Usually most of the old ones that we built had 6 and 5 eighths pipe that was quarter inch thick. Uh, it works good. A little bit of overkill. Uh, but it was the what held the rack itself was kind of an issue. Uh, the way we did the angle iron and everything, I went around the outside and then held it. Uh, these things catch a lot of wind. And probably if we lived somewhere where it wasn't blowing wind all the time, we would never have an issue with the way we did it. But, so what? I actually just did the outside frame. My dad welded up this first. And he put all the holes in it. So... We built our, our bolting rack first, where everything's going to bolt to. Um, and then I'm just using, this is all 2 inch square tubing. Uh, it's 14 gauge. Uh, I put these in, and the one thing you could tell is this thing was, was really floppy when you would pick it up. Uh, I mean, it was really going, but after just putting these pieces in here, those two center pieces really stiffen it up. What we'll do is we'll actually put two posts on this rack instead of one. And we'll never, probably never ever have an issue with it. Um, if I had all the time and money in the world, I'd go and redo all the racks that I've done previously. And just go to this style. I It works. It's pretty cheap to build them. Um, just use locking nuts. To secure them down and yeah it they they work quite well we'll probably put these on a 36 degree angle anywhere between 33 and 36 degree for a post just directly facing south and that's pretty much all there is to them um i'm gonna come back in here and i actually got the little piece over there i'm gonna cut uh, four more pieces of angle iron and that way I can bolt this here and just stiffen it just a little bit more because with these uh, solar panels they start getting loose then then the wind will just rip them off and you you know you have to consider how much wind these things are taking and you know they're sitting there moving all the time in the wind they're going to start, they'll just actually, it'll just fatigue the metal. You know, you won't break welds, but it'll just, it'll just crack the metal all the way away from it. And it, it's just metal fatigue and stress over time. And then things start getting loose and you'll, all of a sudden you'll be driving by one day and one of your panels will be, you know, 10, 15 feet away from the rack. It's all shattered all the hell and you're just mad for the rest of the day. So, this is, you know, 
and just uh, try to stiff them, stiffen them up as much as we can. This, so far, these only have four bolts in them, and honestly, that's plenty. But with going and putting another spot, you know, the center center one will have six bolts in it, and the outside ones will have uh, oh, they'll have six in them as well. So they'll just be bolted all on one side. You only have two on the outside. You could probably come through and and run another piece of angle iron on this outside edge and get two more bolts in it, but I don't think it'll need it. I guess in five years, if the outside ones are all torn off, then I'll know that it needed it. But as far as right now, should be just fine. Um, but anyways, really don't even... We're just kind of keeping from burning through the panels. Uh, these things are actually pretty resilient, so... There's the underside of them, just typical, typical panels. These are the bigger ones. Uh, this well is going to be 300 feet deep that this one's going to go into. And it, we just put all the deep wells on ground foss pumps. And, I mean, it can get expensive. The pumps are like $1,500, $1,700, somewhere in there. Maybe a little cheaper. I haven't seen the bill. We just got a couple of them in. Uh... But they're designed to pump at a deeper level. This one's actually replacing a, a working windmill now. Uh, but it's a windmill I have to fix every year. And I'm having trouble with the sucker rod breaking. And what we found out, we're looking down the hole. Uh, the water is actually bubbling. So we, uh, we have CO2 in this area. And the CO2 is bubbling up. And it gets in that galvanized pipe, and once that pipe starts to rust, that CO2 really accelerates the process. And so you get large chunks of rust that flake off. Well, they fall down the cylinder, and they get into the cylinder, and they'll seize the check, and it just snaps the, the rod, the sucker rod. And this is a, a issue, and there's a couple ways you can do it. You can put all new steel pipe down the hole, but that's just going to keep happening. You can put PVC pipe down the hole, but once you realize that if that hole's not straight and that sucker rod rubs anywhere in that pipe, well, it, it ruins it ruins the pipe and you're pulling it every year or whatever, replacing joints of pipe. So, the solution, we drop a solar well down the hole, pull the tower and the, the head, and run PVC pipe up from the solar pump, and go that route, which there's no power line anywhere close, and I wouldn't put another submersible pump in ever to begin with uh, if I had my choice. There's some places I have to. It's because I don't have the money to put solar wells in everywhere right now. But our power bill is just, it's just going through the roof, and this is the next best thing, or this is actually better. There, these things are a lot more finicky than just a regular submersible pump. Windmills break every year, and used to be where it wasn't that bad. Uh, you could get your windmills fixed reasonably, but uh, they're just, it's they're so expensive now, a new head's five, six thousand dollars. You know, a joint of pipe is 200 bucks for one joint of pipe. Sucker rod is, is expensive. And so, it really starts adding up. Then you have a, a well man come out, and you know they have to be paid. And this is the this is the next best solution. And this is pretty much what everyone's going to. At some point, I will probably uh, well men are really hard to get right now. You know, everyone's busy or something's going on, and is biggest operation as we're becoming and you know you can't go without water so we'll probably at some point just buy our own well truck and it doesn't have to be fancy we just with since we're replacing all of the we'll only have one windmill left and that's already scheduled for a solar well so you know we're going to get rid of all our windmills 
not necessarily because we want to, but just financially, that's going to happen. So, with a weld truck, all we're doing is just pulling pipe, and it's it's really easy, and we can do it ourselves, and we just get things done that way. So, yeah, that's uh, that's what I know, and this gone on for ten minutes, so kind of give you guys an inside look on kind of the daily happenings of trying to keep a ranch fucking moving some days it, you just kind of hold your head and cry <laughs> but anyways thanks for watching uh i probably won't get any video of us putting the well down the hole or the pump down the hole and the, because i don't want to film that with other people around and but i will show you the completed project so Thanks for watching.